motion for the EFL Grand Finals. The theme is morality and ethics. There is no info slide. Time now is 5.57. The debate will start at 6.27. Motion. This house regrets the emphasis on the effortful restraint of one's impulses. Welcome to the EFL Grand Finals of 2020 um, YTN Huff's English Debating Championship. We'd like to congratulate both teams for making it this far to the tournament. On government, we have Team Destiny Experts. On opposition, we have Team Listo. Debating under the motion, this house regrets the emphasis on the effortful restraint of one's impulses. My name is Jihee. I'm going to be your chair for this round. With me, I have a list of wonderful panels, Naveen, Hejun, Hanso, Chisong, Rina, and Sonu. Um, before we begin the grand finals, a couple of announcements. First, um, while it is a debate championship. We also have to recognize that it is Corona season right now. Um, we would like to highly advise and mandate the speaker that is giving their speech to wear their mask and that the mask covers the nose and the mouth so that we don't have any worries of coronavirus spreading. Thank you so much for your cooperation on this issue and we hope that it continues until the end of this round. Second, um, if it were an offline tournament, we would have had a lot of audiences for you and your grand finals. We're so sorry that we weren't able to do that because of Corona. However, we are going to report the EFL grand finals and we'll be uploading this round to the homepage of the YTN Hubs English Debating Championship. And because we want to recognize the achievements that you have had and it, hopefully you will want to watch your speeches um, after the round is over. So please be aware of that. And finally, um, be aware that this round is silent, meaning that the results will be announced at the closing ceremony. We are not going to give you feedback after the round is over. So you can get feedback after this closing ceremony from me, the chair. Um, you can co contact me via Zoom or via Kakao Talk. I will make sure that the, the CAP will make sure that there are communication channels available for, the, both, for both teams. Yes, having that said, um, let's have first the speaker names and the speaker positions of each uh, person in the team. So um, if one person from each team could type that, type that in the Zoom chat, that would be great. For both Destiny, Experts, and Listo, please write down your names and your speaker positions. Okay, we've received both the speaker names and positions of both teams. So without further ado, I'd like to invite the Prime Minister, Taehoon Kim, to de deliver their speech. Here, here. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, I'll just start in a moment. <clears throat> My timer starts in three, two, one, now. Every single individual individuals are unique. However, in status quo, society has made a standardized frame of a good person. For example, having a good grade, going to a good university, and having a good job, things like that. Do you realize that this is fundamentally because of an image that society has made by emphasizing on the effortful restraint of one's impulses? So we will say this can cause harm to majority of people. So we will say a fruitful restraint of one's impulses is not not like it's not a bad thing every time. So we will say it can exist, but we will say this should not be emphasized. Our sense is that by emphasizing one of the fruitful restraints of one's impulses, it can cause harm to many people. So therefore, we will say it may exist, but not emphasized as I previously mentioned. So we are not. Uh, tr like trying to make people to just follow their instincts and roam around. However, we are actually we actually want people to pr to pursue their own happiness, pursue their own dreams, 
not just focus, not just fix themselves, just force themselves inside a frame and centralization that society has made. Okay. Her burden is that to prove why emphasizing what absolute poor restraint of one's impulses actually blocks people from pursuing their own happiness, and by like, lifting this emphasis, people would be able to be like, able to live a better life. Um, as a definition, we define that effort for restraint as to stop yourself from following your impulse actively with hard effort. And we define impulse as a will to do what you want. See. So, first argument, process of, pursue, process of pursuing happiness. So society made a, makes a start standard of a good citizen by emphasizing, emphasizing on the effort for restraint of one's impulses. So most of the case, a parent tells their child to study hard, go to good university, ignoring and underestimating their child's will, like, dream and will to pursue it. The same case happens to adults. Like, their parents, their friends, the society, like, makes them think like, like having a good job is a, like, one of the best and easiest ways to be a good person, to be a good citizen. So like, in the majority of the cases, people, like, because society has actually emphasized this importance of effort for a state of those importance. Like, they just choose to live like what society wants them to live like, not to live, live a life what they actually want. So, for example, um, maybe they give up their dream, or maybe like they give up their hobbies and things like that. So, <clears throat> like, society, because this emphasize on the effort for a state of one's importance, it just like people themselves are actually forcing themselves. To go inside the frame, an image that society has previously made, instead of um, choosing to pursue their own dream uh, and happiness. And before I move on to our second argument, yes, I'm going to do it. Well, I can hear you if you are. Impulse in itself in the current status quo is likely to be an immediate emotion rather than having an informed choice to begin with and to, in order to um, pre uh, pursue their happiness or whatsoever. What do you think about it? I think the main like, clash that they would try to oppose to, that they would try to use to oppose to our argument is about like, something about crime. So may I, may I, I think in their argument, they would probably say that, like, like, are we saying that it is okay for criminals to commit crime if they want to. But however, like we believe in terms of like uh, terms of criminal research for like extreme cases, in that in that kind of cases, it was just no matter the existence of emphasis on effort for restraint of one's impulses or not, so they would not control themselves, no matter that there is an image that society created or not. So in either case, in any kind of world, the criminals or the like people who are in extreme case, they will still not control themselves. So we should be talking about people who actually like, like try to fit themselves in the, the frame that society has made, not the group of people who will not gonna control themselves in any way. So like this, that kind of people that they have previously asked in their POI is not the group of people that we are considering on this debate. Okay, so, this, so the second argument about inner stress. The people think the most general and easiest way to be success is like having a good grade, go to a good university, having a good job, such things like the exact frame that society has previously made. So because this like teachers and parents, like they in society social norms, this this thing just keep giving pressure to youngsters, to the new generation, and even to adults. So like they just emphasize to fit yourself into into like a frame that they created. So no matter like it is hard or not, like maybe like if you want to be an artist or athlete, maybe you will not be able to successful uh, to success as a musician or athlete or something like that. However, you are the one who knows the best about what you actually want and where your happiness actually comes from. So we will say that at the end of the day, the purpose of life is, to, is about pursuing your own happiness. And because of this, we believe that we, the world and team proposition actually pursue, is able to fulfill this core purpose of people's life better than team opposition would does. And because of this reason, we believe that fundamentally, at the end of the day, we are the ones who are providing better and happier life to most to individuals. And because of this reason, we are so proud to propose.
I thank the Prime Minister for their speech. The speaker spoke for five minutes and 56 seconds. To start the case for opposition, I'd like to invite the Leader of Opposition, Pix Hall. All right, so can you hear me? Yes, we can. All right. So before going on to RSI's case, let me first directly move on to the revival of what their side talked about. So their side's um, first speaker previously talked about how first that's, um, this kind of society required people to live in a certain way, and they said that this is like a bad thing and they don't want this. However, first of all, we believe that there is no problem in society requiring people and putting emphasis on, on emphasis that we should, they should not act impulsively. Because we believe that this also gives a good effect to the individual itself. But because, uh, and, I'll, and I'll furthermore explain, we believe that through, me, through, through the emphasis on this kind of impulsive action, only through the emphasis, we could make sure that people act um, people act could act uh, much more rationally, and we believe that if people other if, if if we don't put emphasis on this, people have more possibility that they'll act very impulsively, and we believe that this will also give um harm to the whole society as itself. Furthermore, as I'll explain. But second, they also talk about about how we don't really give respect to a certain jobs. Like for example, if somebody wants to quit a very, uh, I don't know, like quit like to become a doctor or whatever, which is considered as a good job, and try to do some the kind of earnest or whatever, then because and and they said that this is a fault of and putting emphasis on impulsive um, actions or whatever. And first of all, we believe that um. Uh, we believe that um, if we're not just saying that quitting your job or whatever it is, it is bad and trying to choose what you want to do itself is bad. We're saying that if you suddenly do it by a sudden choice, a sudden feeling that, oh, I'm so tired of this or whatever, we believe that that is bad. If you did, or uh, if we believe that because an impulsive action is what you would do without your, no, without a certain, uh, without a sudden feeling, without any inform. So we believe that that's not an informed choice. But if you think for a long time about the, what kind of outcome will happen if I choose to be an artist, maybe I'll be much more poor than right now or whatever. And if you all know that outcome, but you still choose to do it, we believe that that is not an impulsive action and we could respect it. Also, we believe that the fact that um, people prioritize certain jobs is not a per not a fault of these kind of putting, em putting, um, um, putting emphasis on impulsive action. It is just because people think that certain jobs are good job or whatever. We believe that this is not a fault of these impulsive actions of, of putting uh, putting um putting emphasis on that you should not act as impulsively so going on to our size case in the status quo we can see that there are lots of emphasis on restraints of one's impulsive behavior right um this happens like for example you teach your put education in home or school that you must act very um act, you must not act impulsively also people view impulsive um action in a bad view and people said that you should at least put an effort to try to control your behavior or whatever we believe that this is not a problem and rather this gives um like like the more benefits um in the overall because what impulsive action looks like we believe that is first of all you just simply prioritize your feeling as a best best value in that certain situation and you don't think of other things so we believe the second this is more like an instant feeling rather than like an informed choice or whatever so you do, basically you don't think about your outcome about what will happen in the future in the long terms right second we believe that as a 21st century the cooperation is becoming a very important thing not just thinking of my own thing and not just acting like impulsively but also thinking about what will happen furthermore to the other people if i say like this Third, we believe that because of these kind of emphasis, people could people actually put like more effort in trying to control their behavior or whatever. And we believe that without any emphasis of this, this so people will not really act um not really act uh, as rational as enough right now because we believe that I'll furthermore explain people itself is a very uh, is is a somehow a selfish being. So going on to what uh, the criteria will prove mainly two things in today's debate. First, how this harm how um impulse how not putting no emphasis and impulsive action leads to harm in the society's level. Second, how it gives to harm in the individual level. So um, going on to first argument. Our first argument is about, uh, the, uh, the, uh, about how this gives harm in the society level. So um, 
As I told you before, we'll leave that as a 21st century when people need more cooperation, more and more talk with each other and relationship. We believe that um acting impulsive and without emphasis of impulsive is of is a very dangerous thing because we believe that when you keep on uh, we, when you don't act as what everybody already agreed to do, like for example, you did like a teamwork or whatever, and you suddenly believe that oh what the, what they're saying is I mean like not right in my own thing, and you suddenly don't do what it, and only do like what you want to do right now very impulsively. We believe that this will give harm to the whole um whole the teammate itself and for the whole um group itself too. However, when you keep on become educated, when you keep on be told, we believe that um people will uh somehow in their unconsciousness unco uh, people could people like have this. Oh, uh, like like a margin that they could like stop their own action or whatever and think one more. We believe that B this ha only happens. Uh, this doesn't happen without emphasis on this because we believe that people are somehow like selfish and they just think and it is very hard to control their own um own emotions suddenly. So but by giving them also the education that keep on the school or home. But second also the incentive that if you act like this, other people will view you as very bad person because we have so much emphasis on it. We believe that through this, this also gives um like the benefit to the society. The second of all, an individual level, we will leave the A that's kick off um harm in the long term and also for their future. Because as I told you before, impulsive action is just thinking about is not just thinking about the outcome. So in short term, maybe like you could feel good because you just express everything as you think and you express your aspiration. However, in the long term, it, it may lead to like a bad outcome which you didn't really expect it to. And, and we believe that this um is harmful because you did that's that it's not was also not a, a very informed choice. It was just like immediate, more like an immediate no, an immediate emotion. So we believe that people have high possibility to regret in the future. Through emphasis, we are trying to stop these people in a certain amount, right? Um also B, we believe that this harms the people's own relationship because you only pride of uh, because you suddenly say like I don't know, you suddenly scream to somebody else or say like bad words to your uh, friends, and then in the future you may just like regret yourself or whatever. Um and we believe that this could only be um only be existing, like not exist when we put an emphasis saying that if you don't, then like everybody will be bad or whatever. So we believe that through, uh, we believe, so we believe that therefore we should um keep on put emphasis on restraint of one's um impulsive behavior. And thank you for listening. I'm very proud to oppose. We thank the leader of opposition for their speech. Speaker spoke for six minutes and 20, 20, 22 seconds. A reminder to both teams that you should be timing yourself and your opponent. So if you're going to raise a POI or answer a POI, please do so within those times. Um, and also take into consideration that we will not be uh, we will not be writing down things that are that after six minutes and 30 seconds. Please time keep yourselves accordingly. Yes, having that said, I'd like to invite the next speaker, Deputy Prime Minister Tong Sung Woo. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Timer starts in three, two, one. So, they cite opposition. It's assuming our definition, actually not listening to our definition, where we said that impulse is about pursuing what you want to do. That's just doing everything that your emotions tell you to. It's about thinking like to yourself, to do the things that they want. If they actually have maybe, let's say that they really love the art, but because of the social uh, uh, social looking or peer like pressure or those pressures, they couldn't uh, go to that art way. They actually uh, think, since they actually actually think about themselves and so say that I love art, so what, why don't I, I, why am I not doing art, doing an artist, something like that. They are looking for that world and since uh, side opposition doesn't cl clearly uh, stand out why uh, this is wrong, we absolutely uh, take, take this definition and going, going into our school. So, uh, so moving on to first reputation. So they first gave out that uh, uh, coming into the 21st century, uh, cooperation is getting important. However, this is false. Why? It's first because it's going into a society with more creativity, which, which actually makes uh, people less cooperate, but uh, but moreover, let's we absolutely know that in the society right now, because of COVID nineteen, actually people going untapped and less cooperation, more getting uh, uh getting more and more. And even if we say that cooperation is important, we absolutely say that pursuing your life as a person is more important because we have seen a lot of in, in a lot of times people actually committing suicide because of 
stress that they didn't want to do in the first place, pursuing their pursuing not their life uh, in the first place. Yeah, and moving on to the second argument, which is about the harm and the social level, um, they said that uh, 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 the, the society will be benefited by their role. However, we say that emphasis in the first place is about how actually they pressure the people. However, in our role, there is restraining too. They absolutely say that emphasis is important. However, they didn't show why emphasis can only make their society better in the first place. So we absolutely one side opposition to engage in this part, why actually emphasis can, can be the only way to actually do this thing. And also, about the individual level, they said that these emotions will make people are doomed in the, in the last place. However, we already said that our definition was not about this. So uh, we have to say this is not right. And, and even if they actually do these things because of emotion, even if we say our definition is wrong in the first place, we absolutely say that because of emotion, if they actually have a bad effect, they can actually think about that uh, that decision in the first place and have a burden on them, themselves, actually doing having responsibilities of what they actually done, not actually giving responsibilities to others. And before moving on, next. Then are you saying that under your definition, our side of the house totally violates the individual's right to choose at the very first point? Okay, can you say it again? I'm really sorry that I, I couldn't listen to the POI, but uh, I asked for restraint, restating, but uh, I, I'm really sorry that I couldn't listen. Uh, moving on to reconstruction. Uh, first about how it, uh, uh, it's, uh, we already said about the process of pursuing happiness and the inner stress. However, they, uh, uh, they only said uh, things about being, people being irrational in the society. However, uh, since we give, gave out our definition about pursuing your life, it's something like, like this. They actually think about them, what they're maybe do that or what, what they're actually really loving to do. And they really challenge the society for the society that says, follow the way, ways, what we actually went through. They are just giving ways to people to actually, <clears throat> actually not pursuing their life, but actually having stress among those people actually in their life. Because there, there is actually stress between, uh, like, maybe uh, their rights, at, uh, uh, there can be stress between thinking about what they really want to do and what the society wants them to do. And this makes stress. And we already see that a lot of people commit suicide or have a terrible life because of this, not really pursuing what they really want to. And we also see that people actually get, getting out of maybe Google shops and these companies because, because of actually they didn't really pursue the life they really wanted. And moving on to our argument, which is about uh, moving on to our argument, which is about let's create this world. So why it's really important in the first place is because it's, it's actually the 21st century where we actually want to create people and that we want actually these people to actually uh, innovate the world too. So moving on to the argument. First, people are oppressed by others uh, in, the, in the status quo. We all know that and side, uh, side opposition also engages in this part saying that uh, actually the, the society, since society uh, wants something to do uh, to the people, they actually maybe uh, follow the way and actually not be lost in the society. However, in, in this case, since people uh, should follow what others do because of the emphasis in the first place, for example, they should be doctors, maybe go to university, something like that, they can be less enough ideas created by these in society for to say, no, that's not true in the first place. So creativity became a minor part of society where in, inside proposition, I opposition, they say like cooperation, there can be like uh, relations or something like that. However, since there's a no, since there is no, isn't no in society, there can be no creative world, creative act ideas in the society. Where so we absolutely say that no world with no creativity, it will be a worse society with less in, in less in innovation. So in their society, they will lose the ability to adopt in different situations by creativity too, because we already said said that that if they actually pursue the, the way that society wants. They don't know what they actually can do. And because of these reasons, I'm really proud of the book. 
I thank the Deputy Prime Minister for their speech. The speaker spoke for six minutes and 27 seconds. To, co to continue the case for opposition, I'd like to invite the Deputy Leader of Opposition, Kim Mingyu. Master? Yes, you may. My speech start now. So before moving on to talk about RSI's main two things that I'm gonna do. Firstly, about the rebuttals about RSI's whole case, and secondly, talk about RSI's uh, extensions of RSI's first and second argument. But before that, let me clarify first one thing. So in the def the definition problem. So the definition of those impulse means that those kind of feeling and people uh, that act by the uh, immediate feeling and the instant feeling of uh, those kind of what what they get or it is just the immediate feeling that what they uh, what they do as like basically the dictionary meaning but actually they keep saying that you have to engage about our definition our definition so i will generously also rebut as their says or uh, uh, definition too so let's move on to rebuttal their says main argument so first, the process of happiness. So there's a meaning they argue that because they all, they choose by their own choice, so it will make a happiness. But firstly, people in our uh, in the ordinary de definition that we have to talk about, the because how can they, we believe that it is because the immediate feeling of individual. We believe that they cannot actually make a informed choice because it is just a decision by uh, happen by your immediate feeling and instant feeling so we believe that in the end it does not actually giving the really happiness for individual because it is not not informed and it is just choice by the their that actually moment so we believe that actually there are they does not provide any mechanism that why actually there are the uh, happiness also in the inf uninformed choice of that they actually want to prove and secondly even if there's a case happened that all the definition was like the People, people think they they as a first and other as a second, like that definition. So, but even if the case happened, we believe in long term in our case we can actually give a benefit because maybe in that scenario that they might get in, get the like short term a short term benefit because actually they work by the as their self. But when we see the society, actually it is correct. It is hard to uh, live with their own, own only thing and it is hard to live with the own individual so we believe that in the long term when we actually see the long term actually in our case there are much more cooperation and those kind of stuff that actually can make us to survive you in the society so in long term we believe that actually in our case we're giving the benefit and secondly respect individual so there's a talk about like there are uh, there are mainly like people that uh, does not uh, care about themselves because of individual uh, other other individuals so actually because uh, you can uh, express your opinion you can make a uh, respect yourself but we, we think it is wrong by the three layers rebuttal firstly we believe that it is a leaning argument that by the fourth argument which is about the, when there are no process for the happiness there are no respect at the very first place so when we, we because we actually destroy the first argument which is about the happiness of the process uh, process of the happiness there are no uh, those no kind of impact that there is giving in this space and secondly even if there's a case is true that there are there are the respect individuals we believe that in our case it is not the uh, not the action that we do not respect individual and say just what society is doing we are just making the think of one more uh, giving the one more chance to think about it because actually we are mainly mainly giving the uh, but, uh, we, we are actually uh, do not move by that immediate feeling and also check about other thing and uh, uh, think about like what, what even if I do artist when I become poor it is okay thing to do like those kind of stuff like we can actually think about it one more time so actually we are giving the one more chance for individual and say, uh, and and the thirdly, even if there's a case is true that it is getting the like, so stressful for the society and society getting the sole pressure for individual, but we believe that at the very first place, the motion mentioned that it is effortful restraint for indiv individual uh, one's impulse. So basically, it is just the effort. So when actually it's giving the extreme stress as there is this case, because it is just effort, actually, you can also give in, uh, use the impulse at that time. but not to just the normal every time so we believe that there's a second argument was totally false in the first or in the uh in the end of and the last there's a last argument which is, which is about like the only coffee version of there's a first and second argument i think so firstly there's a mention about the people are oppressed but we all already rebutted it by the three point which is about the first day linear argument and secondly why there will why we can actually provide one more chance and lastly why we can i'll make a like why in our case even if 
in our case happen, it is not the, just the efforts, effort, so it will not giving that much harm. And there's a, a second point, which is about the innovation, but uh, it is the repetitive point of our size uh, argument, so I will include in that part. So let's move on to extent, extensions. First, the individual harm. So there will be like three kinds of, uh, two kinds of layers of this argument. So firstly, about the why you can actually ruin the relationship between the uh, people because actually you just express your opinion and you just express whatever you want at the first place. So actually, it is, it is the real rather to uh, do not uh, uh, rather to think about respecting others than the, the uh, respecting others and they will actually do whatever they want and they will think they will prioritize their feeling more more than other people so we believe that actually it will make a lesser lesser relationship and secondly actually it will giving the direct harm for you because actually when you want to buy like something and you just buy because your feelings that you have to do this so we believe that actually it can also give you like comical harm or like mental harm for this case and there's a talk about this point as like in the society because they are oppressed they like they have to do well, whatever they want to do but we believe that because like for even if there's a case to that a society are pressing it society pressing does not change at the very first place so when when society does not change actually you uh, we believe that even if there's a case happen the society we cannot change like society whole so we believe that it is much more easier to survive in our case and secondly about the social harm we mainly talk about two points so firstly about the direct harm because they cannot express their what they want to do uh, to others so uh, it will give them direct harm. And secondly, we believe the development decreased because uh, also it, um, also rebuttal for their like, innovation because they are in the for, for, in the current society, which is about the forced revolution, a forced forced industrial revolution, which actually the most important virtue is, is basically cooperation. So when we do not. Uh, only think their opinion rather than other people or, or prioritize their own value as uh, more important than other people, we will actually making the society to much more harder to uh, harder to cooperate, and it is we mean that it is harder to develop like scientifically or maybe technologically. Uh, those whole uh, practical benefits are uh, decreasing. There's a case because in the last of the debate, we when we it giving the harm for individual and the society, government should come out and regulate and em emphasize this idea to protect society. So because of those reasons, I'm more than proud to uh, oppose. I thank the Deputy Leader of Opposition for their speech. I'd like to invite the next speaker, the government whip, Kim Tong Yoon. Here, here. Am I audible? Yes, you are. I would like to end this discussion of the definition of impulses once and for all. So, do we say, I have an impulse to be angry? No, we say, I have an impulse to hit someone or something like that. By looking at this example, we see that the word impulse is used to not to describe emotions, as the side pop says, but it is rather to describe choices, your action, as we said. So, we believe that since it's this, uh, idea of impulse it doesn't describe this idea of impulse we think that their whole idea about how they can back for their emotions and become irrational we believe that they don't stand at all and second thing we believe that the side of the opposition has been debating emotion called this house regrets effortful restraints of this house regrets the effortful restraints of impulses they have never engaged on the point of why emphasis why they want this emphasis within society Graham Paul has already told you countless times of why this emphasis is important in the society, but they have, they have never engaged us on this point, and they have just told us about how this effortful restraint can somehow benefit those people. So I'd like to tell you why this emphasis is important. So just without those emphases, we do not believe that they will somehow lose control of all their like instincts and etc. And we believe that this is another assumption. They somehow think that impulse is the same as instinct. We believe that this is just not true. We believe that impulse is a completely different thing from this instinct where you just act like according to this emotion that as all says. So we believe, as we have already told you, that impulse, as we have defined it as like the will to do what you want, we believe that it is completely different. And we believe that just because we, we don't have em this emphasis within our society, we do not think that in our world people will just lose all the control they have on their ration of about themselves and just act irrationally and decide. So I want to go, go compare uh, go compare the two worlds. In 
in two clashes. So first of all, which side better achieves happiness? And second, will people actually act irrationally? So first clash about which side better achieves happiness. We believe that this is the most important clash in this debate. We believe that since, uh, since we believe that the end goal of everyone's life is happiness, they want to achieve happiness, whatever they do. And we believe that the opposition will, uh, of course, agree on this goal. So we believe this debate boils down to the point of which side better achieves happiness. So we have told you about how uh, we provide happiness. We have told you about how in the status quo, the, stu the students are and those, they are forced to live and, and the standard of Standard, the standard society has set for them. We believe that the child, uh, the students, they are forced to abandon their what they really want and forced to study hard because their parents say like, oh, wouldn't this be better? And uh, by just neglecting the child, and although they are forced to have a have a like a, have a good job, a good job where the society thinks that it is. But we believe that the adults they want something else. But we, we believe that the because of this emphasis, we believe that they are forced to actually go into those companies uh, that the society is good. And we believe, and the sad opposition has said in response to this point about how this is not a problem in the status quo, and they have told us about how only through this emphasis more people can act rationally. I will engage this about more in the second clash. But we believe that um, just, uh, and they have also told us about how this, how these provide a second chance for those people to actually think over, but we do not see the mechanism behind this point, and we did not actually understand this point at all. So we believe that this happiness clash falls to us at the end of the day, because we have also emphasized in a second argument about how um, you, you yourself know what you want the most. But we believe that since society is forcing the standardization on them, we believe that they are forced to struggle internally with what they want and what they should do from the society. I believe that that would create immense stress for those people. And believe that they will, it will just drive them away from happiness, happiness at the end of the day. And we believe that uh, because of those reasons, this idea of the uh, idea of happiness falls on us. And we have also told us about how if like if you uh, about this idea of respect, respecting others, and like regret afterwards. So this idea of respect. So we have told us about how if if you not agree to a project, for example, as a group, uh, there is harm to teammates. But because we believe that this is the exact problem. What if the group is not going the way you should be? We believe, what if this project was supposed to be about A, but they're going towards B? We believe that it is necessary for this one person to, so the side of our opposition has talked about this idea of respect. How if this, how if you're in a group, if, if you not agree to do what the group wants, you're causing harm to your teammates. But we believe that this is the exact problem. The society, this emphasis, uh, this emphasis on uh, effort pro restraints on one's impulses, it is uh, like it is banning you from actually speaking out what you need to. So, for example, what if what if the group is going the, the wrong way? What if you're supposed to do your project uh, uh, like according to A, but you're actually doing it uh, in the way to B? We believe that it is necessary in these sort of cases for you to actually speak out the truth that you're going the wrong way. But we believe that in the side of the opposition, they never achieve this. And because, because of this emphasis on effort for restraints on moral impulses, because they care about respecting others, we believe that they are not able to correct what is wrong. And they have also told us about regrets, about how there will be future regrets. But we believe that even if you have regrets, it is better to do something you want and then regret rather than like regretting you, regretting, regretting that you should have done this in the past. We all have regrets in the past, but we also like we think that we should have done this in the past. We believe that we do not want the society, and we want a, a world where everyone can actually do their own lives. So our second clash about will people act irrationally? We believe that the side of opposition has not engaged with us in this point. We have continuously told them about the, the emphasis. Why is get, just getting rid of the emphasis actually getting rid of this whole rational thinking part? We have never responded to this point, and we believe that since they have not responded to this point, this clash also side falls on the side of the proposition. So, what have I shown you? This? I've shown you about how the end goal of people is happiness, and we, how we, the side of the proposition, are the side that actually achieves better happiness at the end of the day. And in the second clash, about we have told you, shown you about if we just because we get rid of this emphasis, we just don't lose this rational thinking, and everyone goes like. Everyone just acts under an instinct. So because of those reasons, we believe that the side of the proposition has taken this debate. Thank you.
I thank the government whip for their speech. I'd like to invite the next speaker, the opposition whip. Here, here. Okay, can everyone hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, good. So, my speech starts now in three, two, one. Mr. Meral Speaker, my opponents are seriously suggesting us to, vet, to defend a society where there is no choice for individuals, literally. We believe that this is an unfair burden to happen in today's debate. We rather believe that our side's rule and our side's stance is to defend a case where um, we um, have an emphasis on the effortful resistance of one's impulses to begin with. We generally believe that under our world, the impulse itself is an immediate, immediate emotion in itself. We rather believe that under the impulse action, we believe that there are going to be low possibility for individuals to literally think what is going to happen after it, for example, consequences of relationship or whatsoever. Two things I'm going to do. First, I'm going to clarify some things from my opponents. Secondly, I'm going to ask them two of the questions that happen to be in this speech. So the government would comes up to the podium and says that, oh, but my opponents never proved us why emphasis in itself it should be so much important thing in today's debate, which was, which was kept emphasized by our prime minister and also from the deputy prime minister. We literally gave you four reasons why, but for them, let me just list it. Number one, we told you that people are generally selfish from the get-go. We told you that under this logic, the society needs, needs to do at least role to make them to do to co cooperate with others. Secondly, we also told you that under the individual's perspective, they have a hard time to control itself's feeling. If this is the case, we generally believe that they have to do at least effort to control the imp impulse. And thirdly, they keep talking about criminals and crimes or whatsoever, but we don't believe that this is the case to begin with because we generally believe that this in itself isn't relevant. This is simply illegal. And we also told you, told you that if, if, uh, the per, um, if somewhat action harms the individuals and also the society, society, we generally believe that society needs to do a some level of emphasis towards the action. We generally believe that therefore there is a regulation, therefore that's the law in the current status quo. We totally neglect your idea. But however, Maras, Mr. and Madam Speaker, notice that we, even though we gave you some our picture of the general rules, they under their style house, they never suggested of a, of a counterfactual to begin with. We believe that if this is the case, their stance is totally vague. We never see some uh, direct portrayal of their style house. We want, but even though their reply comes up to the podium and talks about it, we totally believe that this is too late to begin with. What's in this? Going on to my two essential questions in today's debate, right? One, which side can offer happiness for individuals as we also agree happiness is the ultimate goal for individuals? Secondly, which side better benefits the society, which they also talk agreed upon? Number one, which side can better offer happiness for individuals, right? Number one, the, let's first start with the proposition side, right? They talked about they can get respect from society within giving two reads, two analysis. One, they told us that they're going to be able to choose their job into a certain extent, for example, being an artist or being an um, some of other jobs that are not necessarily respected by the society. Secondly, told us that the, uh, that the emphasis in itself is oppressing the individuals to begin with. We already have given you numerous analysis for this. What we told you, we at the very first point, we told you that where our stance, we're not necessarily restricting the choice under the uh, restricting the restricting the informed choice that the individuals are likely to make. But even if let's say assuming their case, even if let's assume their case and rebut this, right? We already told you from our leader opposition talk. Leader opposition talking. Uh, leader opposition talking about it. There are uh, people being unable to choose their job will which they wish is because of the glorification of certain jobs. For example, doctors. We don't believe that the emphasis in itself should be the cr crux of the problem. We believe that their problem, their their um solution for this is a problem and solution mismatch to begin with. And last, we also told you that oppression. To 
we also told you about the oppression talking about oppression if the oppression happens we still believe that this is justifiable because that certain amount of oppression is to make the co people individuals collectively better at the very end of the day which i'm going to further explain in my second class right then what did the opposition side talked about we told you that they're going to be a their individuals were going to have a hardship about the future and outcome a hardship to consider about their future and outcome to begin with we gave you two analogies for this one we told you that they're going to be they're also they're obviously going to be a short-term satisfaction for a certain individual to begin with but furthermore if we see in the long term they're going to be a harm towards the individual's life for example relationships and between their friends or even relationships in their companies or workplaces which are going to be really crucial for their own lives if this is the case mr and madam speaker we generally believe that those kinds of impulses that they make in their ordinary life is going to be crucial for their happiness because they're going to be they're going to be have, have some hard times at their happiness or making their financial resources to begin with which is going to be directly impacting their own life. Second clash, which side better benefits society? Let's also start with the, the proposition side, right? The proposition side argued for innovation. They talked about they, they talked about the volunteer is going to happen in their south house. They're gonna not necessarily brag with their vast majority of individuals. But first, we gave you also numerous analysis for this one. At the very first point, we generally believe that this is a problem with communication in itself. We don't believe that this is a matter of impulsing or uh, emphasizing or whatsoever. But secondly, even if let's say that, oh, the innovation is not going to happen under our style of the house, but rather than that, we tell you that in the current status quo, there are already some check and balances Thing. For example, if some certain company is doing a wrong way, we generally believe that there are, um, there are also a third, part, a third party that has a check and balance, for example, newspapers or some other other government, governmental systems or whatsoever. If this is the case, we generally believe that even though that certain individuals have hardships to tell the to whistleblow some individuals, we generally believe that other check and balances existing in the status quo, we don't believe that that in itself is going to be an obligation for individuals. However, opposition side talked about there's going to be a lack of cooperation to begin with. As we told you that the first revolution society is coming to the, coming to this point. We told you that this cooperation is important because we have to get a diverse and we have to communicate with the individuals to begin with within some reducing their impulses at the society or whatsoever. If this is the case, we generally believe that we're going to have better society at the end of the day. So within these reasons, Mr. and Madam Speaker, I'm more than proud to oppose. I thank the opposition whip for their speech. I'd like to invite the last speaker from opposition, the opposition reply. Here, here. No, sir. Okay, my speech will start now. So before moving on to talk about the five reasons why we take these debates, we want to ask a question. Uh, we have uh, like something to say. There are there were ma uh, mainly two mini debates in this debate. Firstly, the proposition versus the opposition, and secondly, proposition versus the dictionary. So basically, dictionary is be says that the those things, the uh, impulse mean that uh, the action happened by the like di uh, that immediate and instant uh, feelings, and the action or the feeling that happened by that immediate moment. So we believe the first place we have to actually have to clarify clarify the definition when we start the debate. So second, so there we'll, we will introduce the. We will introduce the mainly five reasons why we take this debate. So firstly, go about the proof of the criteria. We mainly have the two criteria that we have to prove in this debate. So firstly, about the social level, and secondly, about the individual level. So firstly, about the social level, we mainly prove the two things. Firstly, why it can actually harm the other because they only think and they only think they're the immediate feeling and they think they them as a first place. So even if they actually it can give a harm for other people. And secondly, about the because it is the first industrial revolution that when they do not cooperate, it is hard to make a result, good result. So because actually Actually, we, we can make us a society much more cooperate each other because actually we are respecting each other much more than the, there's a case because actually we are restraining those kind of impulse that they all individual have. So we believe that we can actually we prove the first criteria at the social level. And secondly, individual level, we mainly prove two things. First, about the long term. In long term, because actually they have more information and more things that they do in long term. It, it will give giving a benefit for them. And secondly, about the why it can actually giving the direct harm because like you can just spend around your money because you're of the, your immediate feeling. So individual level, we prove it. So, uh, secondly, on clear center, uh, stance that they have, they also agree that there are the problem and they also agree on our problem analysis, but they does not say that like they will go to emphasize and they will do not do a support our case. So we will the first thing we actually want to ask, what is your real case that I uh, had 
have, and we believe that it is a contradictory and wishy-washy case that they make. And thirdly, about this, the stakeholder dynamics. In their side's case, they are their side only targeting the individual, but well, in our side's case, we also targeted the individual level, plus we also targeted the social level and the development of the whole society. We believe that when we compare the social, uh, stakeholder dynamics, we take this debate. And fourthly, engagement. So their side's mainly engaged to our uh, uh, the case only by their de definition. They, uh, we also uh, we also engage by our our definition and also their definition for their whole, whole if every single argument, but they only and talk about our size, uh, our, they doesn't engage to our size real argument and they just say, well, there's, according to their definition, it does not, f f f uh, like, uh, it's true and it is not, it does not exist, then they just give. So we have to, they have a, a serious engagement problem. And lastly, about the logical flaws. There's this talk about like stress and uh, suicide, they happen in their size case, but they doesn't, the first thing, they doesn't provide why it is the only happen by those kind of impulse that they restraining. As, as, so they does not provide why it is the major factor and why it is the direct mechanism that they provided. And secondly, they, they will, they, they, we also agree, uh, we also engage at that point, which is about the, it will happen in your side case much more because they are non informed choice and they, they only act by their own feeling. So we believe that their side does not also engage about these points. So we're so sad that we also uh, engage about a really important point, their, their main point, which is about the individual oppression, but they does not engage about it. In the last of the debate, we mainly proved five reasons why we take this debate firstly about the, why in the, we prove the criteria, and secondly, they have an unclear standard, and thirdly, we have much more stakeholder dynamics, and they have engagement problem, and they also have logical problem. So because of those reasons, I'm more than proud to oppose. I think the officer should reply for their speech. I'd like to invite the last speaker, the government reply. Here, here. Okay, uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Thank you very much. Okay, starting in three, two. So, today's side proposition comes down to a question, a major question, where side opposition said they answered. However, without mechanism, how actually they uh, 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 actually cause something and how it affects to another reason. So, they, as, I, we, as we already said, they didn't provide without emphasis, it will be an irrational society in the first place. They said that, okay, let's say that they say uh, effort, effort to actually retrain, retain these things uh, might uh, make the society rational. However, the most key in factor is on the emphasis and how emphasis made the society or actually the world that they really want. However, even if they proved they, these things and said that without emphasis, it will be an irrational society, then we can, we can say that since there's an emphasis, they, they, they might say that society will, will be rational. However, since they also said that people are selfish in the first place, let's, we absolutely say that this emphasis, it works as a restriction to the society. And there comes a major contradiction inside the opposition world, where they say it's not, it's not restriction in the first place. And second, saying that people are, are, are selfish so being in actually a restriction to actually make people suffer in the society. Why is this really important and major, major in this debate? So in the, in the first, uh, in the first met method where they said, said it's not restriction, they said people will have choices. Then why in the world actually people going to be, want to be, just say, uh, just uh, actually want to just uh, study hard and go to, uh, go to be doctors or go to uh, be real, really good jobs. Why, why aren't they actually doing it? Is it really pursuing their, their own uh, thoughts or something like that? It's actually going, it's actually the world where, where, where they actually make people do these things. However, they also said that it's, it's a restriction, it's a kind of a restriction because people are selfish in the first place. Then, how, it, how does these two methods actually uh, make, uh, uh, make or make sense in the first place, and why did uh, and and uh, they also in this part they said that uh, they said that emphasis is really important in this space. However, we already proved that this, without emphasis, we we can also take people being rational in the first place because since people have maybe these concepts of uh, actually taking efforts in this part, we already said that we can take this uh, place. However, they also strong as a lot in this debate. 
saying that we didn't engage in the first place. However, this is not true. So, judge, please remind remind um side opposition that they are strong and engaging. So, finally, I want to uh say that our look, where actually there is a uh, less uh, uh we we actually bring the side a side where actually people are really happy to actually make their choices. But inside opposition world, they're actually following these places and regretting that they didn't pursue their own life. And because of these reasons, side proposition is really proud of both. I thank the government reply for their speech. Thank you all debaters for a wonderful EFL Grand Finals. As we have mentioned before, we are going to announce the results at the, at the closing ceremony. So give yourselves a round of applause. It was a long tournament. You guys did very, very well. So please stay until the end of the closing ceremony to find out whether you did, uh, whether you won or lost. Um, also, you can exit this Zoom room so that the judges can have a discussion. Thank you guys so, so much, and we'll see you at the closing ceremony.